Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Marie. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet the beautiful African flower granny hexagon. This design is one of my absolute favorites and it's so gorgeous for beautiful blankets and pillows and bags and a lot of other projects. So let's just get into the video. To begin, we're going to make a magic circle. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my two fingers and create a cross. Then I'll take my hook and insert it underneath the bottom yarn and grab the top yarn and pull it through. Then I will yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. So here's my magic circle and I already have one chain. So I'm going to make two more chains. So yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. And these three chains will count as the first double crochet of the round. So I'm going to make one more double crochet into the circle. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And next, chain one. Yarn over, pull through. And I'm just going to make five more sets of two double crochet and a chain one in between. So again, two double crochet into the circle and chain one. And just repeat all the way around till I have a total of six sets of double crochet and a chain one in between. So here at the end of the round, I'm just going to pull my yarn tail to make the circle smaller. Like so. And I'm going to chain one and make a slip stitch into the top of the chain three to close the round. And I will fasten off my yarn. To attach my new color, I'm just going to insert my hook into any one of the chain spaces and pull my new yarn through and tie a knot. And I will insert my hook and pull up a loop and chain three. And the chain three will count as the first double crochet of the round. So I'm going to make one more double crochet into the same space. Then chain one and again make two more double crochet into the same space. And then chain one. And I will just repeat all the way around, making two sets of two double crochet and a chain one in between. So again, two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet into the same space. And I will chain one, and I will just repeat all the way around till I have a total of six groups of two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet, and a chain one. And I'm just going to hide this yarn tail here behind my stitches like so, and continue around. And here at the end, I'm just going to make one last chain and make a slip stitch into the top of the chain three. And to start round three, I'm just going to make a slip stitch into this first chain space here. And I will chain three. And 
and the chain 3 will again count as the first double crochet of the round. So I'm going to make 6 more double crochet into the same chain space. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I have seven double crochet, including the chain three. And next I'm going to chain one. And next I will go right into this next chain space between the two sets of double crochet and I will make seven double crochet into this space. And again, chain one. And I will just repeat that all the way around till I have a total of six shells all the way around. And a chain one in between. Here at the end of the round, I'm just going to do my last chain one and make a slip stitch into the top of the chain three. And I will fasten off my yarn. So in round four, I'm actually going to attach my yarn to round two. So I'm going to insert my hook here into one of the chain spaces between the groups. So insert and pull through and tie a knot. Then insert the hook and pull through and chain three. One, two, and three. And these three chains will count as the first double crochet of the round. So next I'm going to make a single crochet into each of these seven stitches in the shell. So insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And again, into each of the seven stitches from the previous round. And next I will make a double crochet into this chain space here from round two. So I will yarn over and insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, I will make a single crochet into the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I will just repeat all the way around. So again, a double crochet into the chain space here from round two. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And single crochet into the next seven. So I will just continue and meet you at the end of the round. So here I am at the end of the round and I'm just going to make a slip stitch into the top of the chain three. And I will fasten off my yarn.
And to start the fifth round, I am going to attach my yarn into any one of the double crochet stitches of the previous round. So just insert and pull the yarn through and tie a knot. And I will insert the hook and chain three. And again, the chain three will count as the first double crochet of the round. I'm now going to make a double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And into the next stitch, I'm going to make the first corner of my hexagon. So I'm going to make one double crochet, then chain one, and one more double crochet into the same stitch. And next, I will make a double crochet into the next seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that takes me to the next corner. So I'm going to make one double crochet chain one and one double crochet into the same stitch. And again, double crochet into the next seven stitches. And again, make the next corner. So, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet into the same stitch. And then double crochet into the next seven stitches. And remember the chain three here also count as a stitch. So I will be working into that one as well. And again, make another corner. So one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. And I will just repeat the rest of the round in exactly the same way. So seven double crochet, make a corner, and seven double crochet, make a corner, and I will meet you right here at the end of the round. I now have three stitches left here at the end of the round. So I'm just going to make a double crochet in those last three stitches. And I will end the round with a slip stitch into the top of the chain three. And I will fasten off my yarn and tie a knot. And all that's left to do now is just to weave in the yarn tails on the back side. And we are all done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you will come back and see me again for the next one. Have a great day. Bye bye.